that? That's McDonald's cheese sauce. Oh my. <laughs> McDonald's Minions cheese sauce. Yeah. So it is October 1st, and Tom is going to be making a new month. It's getting intense. I have an exam tomorrow. It's a little nerve-wracking, but I'm actually really thankful. I thought I had two papers tomorrow, but apparently it's just one exam and the other paper is next week. So, it's exam day. I have breakfast with some friends and I'm really, really anxious this morning. One telltale sign of my anxiety or worry is my bowel movement if I can never mind too much information at the back of my mind I know that I can do it or at least I can go to a certain level like I know I'm not I'm not dumb <laughs> but I think I lack the confidence in myself I really question my abilities I really question why I'm in NUS I just have a lot of self-doubt and I think that may or may not be holding me back sometimes. Today marks the start of my midterms-ish because this is like a practical exam which is also considered like a midterm for one of my modules. My other midterm is next week. I thought it was today so bless. <laughs> Luckily it's next week so and then that would mark the end of my midterms. It's quite a trying period for me right now and I hope everyone's doing okay. I think quite a few people in uni watch my videos so if you're struggling, I don't want to make it seem like I'm doing okay and I'm enjoying myself and, and everything like <laughs> I've had a few breakdowns so I, I get it. I just hope that you're okay and please don't neglect your mental health and take breaks when you really feel like you can't <laughs> anymore. Self-care is important. See you later. I didn't do as well as I hoped. I don't know my grades yet, but I just feel like I didn't meet my own expectations. That means a few things. One, I need to manage my expectations for myself. Two, I need to manage my stress. <laughs> And three, the exam is done. <laughs> it's beyond my control already. I just need to finish the codes and submit it. Hopefully there's not too much to change and hopefully things aren't as bad as I think they are. <laughs> I am back again and honestly I feel like I've lost count of the weeks. Is it week 8? Is it week 9? Anyway, this time around I brought more things. I feel like every time I book in, there's always more to show you guys. My parents passed me this Japanese snack. I brought just more clothes. I brought my foundation from home. I haven't used it in a while. Hopefully it's still okay. Finally, this is a dinosaur onesie. I'm gonna have to wear this for some kind of photo challenge, I believe, for one of the committees that I'm in. So, you may see it later on. Good morning everyone. <laughs> I just opened a tab and I thought I'd share how beautiful this image is and also this wonderful quote on how you can't protect yourself from sadness without protecting yourself from happiness. And I just thought this was really, really nice this morning. I just spent the morning doing my math tutorial. Just thought that interesting but yes these few days i'm going to be doing a lot of math because my math midterms are this friday also i'm going to get my coding midterm results it's the midterms that i took the previous friday and i really don't know what to expect are happening i feel like right now things are just 
going by so fast, everything's a blur. I have some underlying regrets about my practical exam for the coding module, but uh, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. So that's update number one, the regrets and just accepting that nothing can be done and I should just work hard for future tests and all of that. Second thing would be, I'm just doing a lot of studying for my math midterms on Friday and I also need to complete my Korean assignment. Korean is also giving me quite a bit of stress so that's my third update. That's about it actually. I'm going to continue studying now so I'll see you when I see you. This morning I met my cap support group and we had to wear onesies for this little photo shoot. It was really fun. I think they're a very fun bunch and one guy, he has a YouTube as well. We never really talked about it. It's like an unsaid understanding between the both of us but if he ever sees this or if you are curious, here's his YouTube channel. Just show him some support, tell him like you came from my channel <laughs> and um, yeah, I haven't worn this since sec 3 which is a good so um, it's been a while. Anyway, I, I got some food from the dining hall and I'm gonna eat that as I pack my things. I'm gonna go to plus 82 to study again. It's like my favorite study place now. And also, I found this outside my door this morning. Thank you so much, Wei Young. If you ever see this, thank you so much. I'm gonna thank you in person, but <laughs> just thought I'd thank you in this video as well. Not only did I wait at the wrong bus stop, I was waiting for a bus that probably wouldn't even come today. But it's okay, I'm walking to U-Town now. So I should be back in my dorm in about 10 minutes or less. <laughs> Since there's no one here, I thought I'd just share with you guys what on earth I was doing at the Natural History Museum. Oh, there's someone. <laughs> Okay, but basically, I had to go there to get some information for one of my modules. It's a science module, so that's why. There's a lot of biodiversity stuff. It was pretty fun. There's something about museums that I really, really love. Can't put it to words, but I would love to go to museums every week if I could. If there were that many in Singapore. I went to Clementi Mall and I got this which was recommended by the tattoo artist
I shifted the shelf so it's under my bed now and I think it clears up a lot of space in this area suddenly the floor space feels like it's a lot bigger and yeah I think I'll leave that there for the remaining half or less than half of this semester just a little change in my space support publicity things <laughs> and I'm really excited it's so cute like I love this kind of playlist Spotify design hi Brendan I love this so much <laughs> This morning, they gave donuts. It's like a complimentary meal enhancement for this tough season. And I just got my usual croissant as well and a latte. publicity things again and it was pretty fun but nonetheless it does take up quite a huge chunk of my time especially when I have a lot of things to do like this morning I looked at my to-do list and I just felt super overwhelmed like sometimes I look at my to-do list and I feel like oh okay like this is manageable but I just experienced this morning like a huge sense of I don't even know if I want to start you know <laughs> also I changed the orientation of the furniture in my room again so let me show you guys I shifted my clothing rack there and I also put my printer on my desk it does look very cluttered but at least I cleared up that little space and the bedside table or drawer is now under the table Back to Cat. More lift is 
signs. I think I already showed you. <laughs> I got 10 face masks because it was on sale and I've been wanting to get face masks ever since the other one ran out. And I'm also gonna give one or two to a friend. So yeah, a friend that gave me the plan. So it's still chilling over there. Oh my, I'm down to my last two. So I'm treading on some thin ice here. Just got my cap publicity committee shirt. I got one in a dry fit and one in cotton. It's exactly the same design. And I'm so excited to wear it. And also, thank you so much, Lydia, for the message and the snacks. I hope no one comes and says, okay, there's some. As I was saying, <laughs> I went to Utah Green to meet my friend Jessica and she gave me this. Yeah, I'm just really very thankful. Everyone has been so supportive and I really didn't expect this. Jessica is in a computing course and she's incredibly smart. I'm so like, you go girl. I just love it when my girls are excelling in what they do. Another Live Pops design. <laughs> Again, I think this is the more interactive one. We also have some brain teasers here. <laughs> the mood. <laughs> oh my god. Looks good, looks good. Okay, okay, so. I'm already. <laughs> hey guys, so we are baking now and look at what we have made. <laughs> what do you mean? The real master. What the big Okay, hi guys. So like now we're going to be doing like a ASMR of the cherry pie that we made. So I'm with Eunice and the <laughs> Enjoy my vlog! <laughs> ah, okay, so thank you. It means just like, look. Alright, alright. So, do you want some ice cream? Yes, please. Hi, Lydia, if you're watching this vlog. Stop it. I want to be in your vlog. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't have to feature us. Eh? I think it's quite sensitive to like, feature us in the vlog. Okay, <laughs> this is going on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> is that that? Yes. Okay. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment <laughs> <laughs> below what you want to see in the next vlog. Oh my gosh, what a professional. <laughs> friend Valerie made some cards for me <laughs> like it's really so sweet because look at this like on the back of each of these cards there's something different and something really uplifting okay so I have a science module and this is one of the assignments for this week and we need to observe a bird and I am just so glad that I managed to capture this image when I was just going out casually for lunch the other time so I don't have to specially go out to find a bird <laughs> so thank you Nicole from the past hey guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel how have you all been doing yeah and my sister over here, she's doing O levels, and tomorrow's her final like main paper. So yeah, proud of you, Queen. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Someone actually wants to buy this painting from me, from Carousel, and I am so touched that people would want to buy my art. I'm definitely hoping to paint more once finals are over. But yeah, I just really want to try out all kinds of things once I have more time. Thanks, Jeff. This is officially my very first stuffed toy in Cat, so thank you so much.
CS2030 lab makes me age 5 years in 2 hours Like I'm not even kidding I found 2 white hairs this morning And I, I could not see any white hairs before matriculating into NUS So the stress in your knee is real Today's lab was okay It was them releasing the instructions for the next project Which is basically a build on on the previous project So I do have to make changes to what I did before. I still have a lot more to do so a little worried because coding projects really take me quite a while to finish. I just got my cap support shirts and it's so cool! 